Pay Cable Network Starts has cancelled Kelsey Grammer S. Boss because its second season clocked fewer viewers than its first. The second season, ended in mid-October, averaged about 940,000 viewers across multiple plays for its 18 episodes, not that much worse than the ratings for Starts Magic City. On the other hand, Starts only had domestic rights on Boss while it owns Magic City outright, giving it the financial benefit of overseas sales dollars. You do the math. In August, that summer TV press tour 2012, during a boss Q&A, creator Farhad Satinay aside he was heartbroken at the show's first season ratings, saying it deserves a larger audience, while Grammar played the king and took a phone call on stage from his wife, working a hotel ballroom's worth of TV critics who might have been in a position to help goose the second season's ratings. Too late now. Grammer believes he did not get an Emmy nomination for his first season on Boss because he's a Republican. The series star Grammer has a Chicago mayor suffering secretly from a neurological disorder. The show opened with a bang, starts CEO Chris Albrecht having gone ahead and ordered a second season before the first even premiered in October of 11. News of Boss's ouster is the latest in a string of changes that starts. A couple weeks earlier, Albrecht, former head guide at HBO, hired HBO research and scheduling veteran Dave Baldwin to be the network's executive VP of program planning. At the same time, Stefan Chalinski, who'd been with Starts since its launch in the mid-90s and oversaw original programming and film acquisitions, was big ado. Back in September, Albrecht picked up the British crunch gravel drama called White Queen 1400s England, at war for nine years over who is the rightful king, young and handsome Edward Ivy looks like the winner. Only he goes and marries a young widowed dominer whose mom is a sorceress. Hate when that happens, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's based on the historical novels by Philippa Gregory which sold like gangbusters. And, here's the point, Albrecht brought in former HBO Films press Colin Callender to executive produce the series, and also handed Callender the two-year deal and made him an executive producer in charge of goosing ratings on Magic City where he'll work closely with HBO that and now. Managing Director Original Programming at Starts Army's Lot Nick. Quite the HBO old home week going on at Starts.